The full 3D design was made in Autodesk Fusion 360. If you are interested and want to build it yourself, please comment below and I will share the Fusion project with you. I did multiple iterations of the steering mechanism. Any suggestions on how to improve it will be greatly appreciated. Simply take the measurements from the design and mark it down on a piece of wood. Once all measurements are placed, use a saw or a jigsaw to cut the wood. This was the first time I ever used a jigsaw, so please excuse if I use any wrong techniques. I had to Google multiple times on how to cut specific blocks where sharp edges were required. Also, wear some sort of hand and eye protection. After cutting the steering servo rectangle, screw the servo in securely and make sure it does not have any space to move. Still following the measurements, drill two holes where the front wheel bolts, or rods will be. Place your servo wheel and 3D printed steering arms, and make sure it all matches up before you continue. As previously stated, I did multiple iterations of the steering mechanism. Here is one of my previous approaches, where I use a smooth rod and steel bracket to mount the bearing. The latest mechanism uses a simple 8mm bolt and a 3D printed part to mount two bearings. After drilling the two holes to fit the rear wheel bolts, make sure you have all required rods to mount the rear wheels. I have improved the rear mounts to avoid the unwanted vertical movement by removing the suspension. When I mounted the angle grinder and applied the rubber band tension to the rod connecting both wheels, the results were terrible. I simply could not make it work with the suspension, so I had to remove it. Fit the horizontal wheel rod connecting the rear wheels in place. Make sure you don't have any play in unwanted directions. Do a quick test with the 3D printed rims and make sure that all four rims are equally aligned, and can rotate with no extra friction. Finally use simple clamps and tighten the grinder against the wooden base. Once mounted, measure the square you have to cut out, to allow the rubber band to gain access to the rear wheel rod. The electronics are quite simple. I used an Arduino Nano as the control board. A motor controller to adjust the motor speed. The motor controller is using a potentiometer, so I designed a little servo mount to adjust the potentiometer with a servo. A standard relay to set the direction of current, so it can go forward or reverse. The steering servo is controlled with a Flysky transmitter and receiver. The receiver is connected to the Arduino board to read values and parsed to control the servo angles. I tried a couple energy sources to power the angle grinder. I finally ended up buying the 18 volt grinder battery pack because the weight of the 12 volt bike battery was way too heavy to reach greater speeds. The Arduino and servos are powered using two 18650 batteries. 
You can use any other sources that will be sufficient, just keep in mind that strong servos can draw a lot of current. The wheels are done by using foam strips as the main material, and coating it with rubber sealant. The body was printed in multiple parts, due to its size. So a lot of glue and plastic adhesive were used to get it all together. Stick masking tape around the areas you don't want to spray paint. All parts not spray painted will be painted by hand. Doing a gradient can be tough. Just follow a couple tutorials and practice on a disposable sheet before doing it on the octane. And finally, the last step. Paint the finer details. I used acrylic paint to add some detail to the body. You can simply get a screenshot of an octane, or use your own creativity to add some flair to your car. The choice is yours. Once you are happy with the detail, fit the body over the prepared car and you're done. The measurements and body should be in sync regarding sizes, so slipping the body on top will be a breeze. Thanks for watching. If you like this video and want to support us, please give us a like and subscribe to our channel. Have an awesome day.